Thank you for learning Siebel with the Siebel Hub. We have a unique, comprehensive and always up-to-date collection of Siebel CRM 2021 training classes. We can deliver live online and on-site training in the highest quality with the most experienced instructors. And we also offer a unique modular Siebel CRM 20 and 21 training. Follow the links in the description or on this slide to learn more and learn Siebel with the Siebel Hub. In this demonstration, uh, we're going to look at modifying uh, tasks for Task UI. And as we see here in Siebel Tools, we are working outside of workspaces. We just lock the project and then revise the task and make updates. And we're just doing a dummy update really in the comments to create a new version of the task, which we then immediately publish and activate in the development database. So this is recorded in 20.12 and that's the state as of that version, maybe future versions um, that tasks are not related to workspaces. So in order to execute the incremental runtime repository migration to really trigger the watermark, etc., we have to do a dummy update of sorts in a workspace controlled object. And let's just pick that business component here as shown and make another comment update. So this will then be one update in that developer workspace. And we can use it to deliver it into the main workspace, thus producing a new version in the main workspace, which we can then incrementally migrate. So the goal of this demonstration is to show how to work with a task-based UI in incremental migration scenarios. So here we are delivering that workspace. So the work in the development environment is pretty much done. And main version three in this environment has the, the change. So in the migration application, we use the incremental migration plan that we created, which includes the incremental runtime repository and schema service. And we run that migration plan. And you notice because it's a synchronous run, it fetched the watermark from the target system and gives us the workspace version three as the only one to migrate. So now migration is running and of course it will take a, a little while. So we busy ourselves with checking the status and opening the log files. So repository export. That's of course the interesting part. So is the task in here? And this is a high speed version of video here. So the import is currently running. Let's check out the log file. Okay, and we got uh, two rows. So there has been probably another update, but two rows in task have been exported. So the migration is complete. Let's just check it was successful. And now we can log into the target test or production environment and see the active tasks, the completed tasks, that's the repository, the desi mandatory design repository table here. Uh, but version one is completed, version zero is active. So what's missing here is actually the migration. And as the release notes tell us, since 20.11, there's a bug. So we have to manually execute the Siebel Runtime Metadata Publisher service. And that might be for a while. So we use the Business Service Simulator to do that. So we call the Activate Tasks method. And again, remind you, remind you that this is 20.12 
and in future versions of Siebel, the task activation might run automatically again, but it's not in this version. So always check your release notes uh, so you're um, not surprised by things not happening or happening differently. So we run the business service as instructed in the release notes, and after a short while, we see the task is activated and has been removed from the mandatory design table. We